fucking packed, mate. It's absolutely rammed. Yeah, doggy. It was a really loud, stormy night last night, but everything seems to be dry. Um, not too sure. Dates, water, quick oats, and peanut butter. Uh, we've got the bike there. This is the view. Yeah. And the, the tent's a bit of a mess this morning. Because uh, I'm just getting back into the swing of things, and um, yeah, <laughs> trying to set up and things, and these weren't working last night, uh, so I was just on a cold tin of beans, which wasn't fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> So uh, I've been trying to film some stuff. I've not really used my camera in a while and I just thought, you know, try and get some some more footage. It's quite comfy, this, this rock. It's got a load of moss on it. But the, the plants are wicked. And the trees, it's just beautiful, beautiful. And I've got a bag of dates for um, a bit of fuel. Now... I'm going to head to Bright for the tour down under. Um, by the time this video goes up anyway, the tour is probably going to be over. It's probably going to be Christmas time by the, <laughs> by the time this goes up. I've, I'm in no rush at all. Like I could do I could do loops around here. Um, I've got 800 kilometers to cover in like two weeks, um, which is fucking piss easy. Um, easier said than done for sure. But yeah, my friend is, and, and a heap of his friends are going to be racing in uh, what's called the Tour of Bright, which is like a three-day event. It's like a time trial and then a couple of road races, I think. And then, yeah, head over to the uh, the Tour Down Under over Adelaide. And that is basically the next three months in Australia. So, you know, I did the, I did the shit. I did the, I did down into to Mackay. That was, that was pretty tough. Learned a lot on the road. Um, and now... Yeah, I'm doing it, but I'm doing it in such amazing scenery, um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really fucking good. I'm I'm excited. This is like the first proper day on the road outside of Sydney. Sydney's a nightmare, man. So many traffic lights. Anyway, I'll keep it short. See you later. Always make sure you turn the camera on when you're filming a bit of a edit thing, whatever you want to do. Three times I'm going to have to come up this hill now. I hope it's good.
fuck yeah. Look at that for the end of a day. Just gonna pop the tent here. Sort of risking a uh, let you enjoy the sunset. Well, uh, update. There we go. Beautiful. Um, yeah, you can get finds along here. Just keeping my voice down because I'm it's like stealth camp style, quite close to a road, and but I'm in like a bowl, a chalice. <laughs> So um, I've had to come up on over. over. That was probably the hardest effort that I've put out today, getting that bike over there. She's got a fat ass. It's been a great day. First proper day on the bike, I guess. Um, going from camp to camp. And uh, hopefully, you know, it's a sign of good things to come. Um, yeah. So with the extra couple of hours, like it's it's nearly half seven now. Um, back out west, it was like dark for, well dark for seven. Um, and as soon as that goes behind, you're looking at another, you know, 15 minutes of light probably, 20 minutes. Um, look at these geese. See that? Yeah. <laughs> that flyway home. Um, yeah, so it gives me like two more hours really, and you know, within that time, you need to eat. So, what I'm gonna try and do is just cook my food elsewhere other than the campsite, and um, then I can just pop the tent up, get straight in, no worries, rather than having to worry about cooking and all that sort of shit. Um, I can just do it earlier in the day. And uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be up and, uh, up and away because I don't wanna get a fine. Um, or argue my way out of a fine, should I say. <laughs> yeah. One last time. <laughs> it doesn't do it justice, really. Um, Beautiful part of the world, this. Absolutely wicked. Been speaking to a lot of people just out on the beach and stuff. And man, to live here would be absolutely awesome. Really would. Right. Peace.